I'm actually recording this Sunday night. I was going to record it tomorrow morning, but my lovely, beautiful, gorgeous wife is upstairs. And you know what she's doing? She's watching the reality fucking shows. And I sit there. I try to hang in there. I fucking try to hang in there. I can't fucking do it. It's, it's like, it's so fucking depressing. I don't understand how she and Michael Rappaport can watch that fucking shit. It's just, it's, it's fucking, she's watching one right now. All they do, they just sit around talking about stuff bags and shoes and this one wants titties because her sister's got bigger titties i wish i had tits like you and then it's like these are like they they don't do anything and then they're always going on vacation to clear their head from doing nothing i guess being on the show and having being in front of the cameras and stuff yeah i guess that would get fucking annoying after a while but they, they don't fucking do anything. And then there's this guy with a beard and he comes walking in and he's always acting like he's fucking got all these businesses going. He's not fucking doing anything either. I get, they do the show. That's what the fuck they do. And uh, so I'm hanging in there and I'm trying to watch it. I'm trying to watch it. And then they do that horror. Like you watch them talk about the shit and then they cut to the people who you just saw talking about the shit. Then they talk about the sh- They just talk about what they just did. So the one of them wants to get a fucking boob job and they, they probably just had her do it, you know, just so they could get a fucking episode out of it. All I know has been the end when she goes to talk about it. This is what I tapped out after listening to these fucking people sitting around talking about themselves, you know, and just walking around with these fucking t- $10,000 worth of clothes to walk into a fucking living room and sit down and talk about other clothes, right? They cut to the one who was going to get her titties done and she sits down and the first thing that she comes out of her mouth, she just goes, for me? And I was just like, I'm a, I, I got to get the fuck out of here. I got to get the fuck out of here. I, I can't, like, what do you mean for me? We just listen to you talk about, it. like, they should just, why don't they should just go down to a fucking soup kitchen? Go ladle out some shit for a while. I don't even, then they would just talk about how fucking am, it was so amazing to meet all these different people. And it's that they're just like really, really poor. And I just, it just, I just felt for me, it was just so great to connect with people. And they would be doing that in full on fucking makeup with love bracelets going all the way up to their fucking, <laughs> their goddamn neck. And I don't know, just after helping people like that, I just really feel like I need to clear my head and go to San Luis Obispo, whatever the, where the fuck those goddamn people go. Jesus Christ, I just, uh, I don't know why she watches it. Why does she watch it? She likes great movies. She's a very smart person. I, I don't know. I guess, you know, for me, I guess I watch fucking football. You know, that's just as fucking stupid. I watch people sitting there talking about, I guess, I guess that's the female version of it. And I have to accept that's the fucking fact. Bill and I just watched this <laughs> 60 minute segment, right? About social media influencers. And so there's these kids on there because, you know, they're millennials or whatever, with the exception of Kim Kardashian. But the other people on there are these young people that, you know, have all these viewed vines and Snapchats and everything. And so companies are paying them insane amounts of money to do advertising yeah. for and one of them is this blonde kid whose name i don't remember he's fucking hilarious and he does these splits in front of people <laughs> random locations he's like at the wall of china <laughs> the eiffel tower and everything and he has all these like views so he gets no no i thought all those kids are funny what drove me nuts about it was how the reporter just couldn't get his head around it going like so then you get six million views <laughs> And people want to advertise in that? I it's told like, you, 60 minutes is for old it's people. It's like, fuckhead. <laughs> You're on a TV show. There's advertising on your TV show. The amount of viewers that you have is how much you can charge for ad space. Why would this be? He just couldn't get his fucking head he around it. He's explaining it to the people that are watching 60 Minutes, which are older people generally. 
They have older correspondence. They're explaining it to our parents. They're not explaining it to us. Uh, and you're letting them it. off the hook. You're no, letting them off you, the hook. They're, not, they're doing it. I'm telling you. You're letting them off the hook. They're doing it for like 60, 70 plus year old people. That reporter was exactly who I thought he was. <laughs> no. And I'm you let him you. off the hook. I'm telling you. There is a reason why they're so like All right. Well, maybe maybe because Maybe because I get it. Maybe yeah. because I get it. Yeah, you get like impatient with it. That's for old people that are like, you do no, what I have with ever, your phone? I, yeah, I, have, I, I fucking have a, po- a podcast. It's a radio show <laughs> on the internet. Enough people <laughs> listen. Explain that to People six, will, will like, advertise. I know, but explain that to like an old, I shouldn't even say six. My dad's 65 and I think he would grasp that concept. But like think about the most older people who are not LA, New York, who are just not savvy about that stuff. Like they don't get it. And they probably don't necessarily and the kids still like, get it. Oh, and then I fucking do this and I wear a Jimmy John shirt. Yeah. And he's like, and they, and they, and then, and then they pay you for that? <laughs> it's like, dude, half the fucking bands this guy's going to see, like, there's advertising at the shows. The Rolling Stones have like Bud Light in the background, right? I know. I just think, I, I, just, I really think that they're explaining it for older people who don't understand what it means to go viral. They don't even know what that word means. It's a new phenomenon for them. They don't get it. That 60 minutes is not for people. No, it's a new word for what the fuck they've been doing. Yeah. 60 minutes went viral in the 60s. It was a hit show. Right. It just wasn't viral. It went because fucking. Because there was no internet. TVO. So viral. Whatever the fuck you call really. a hit TV show. Right. But viral. And do you think there was, there was the people internet, from the 1800s so. still alive going like, so you're in that box <laughs> and. A lot of the more people that watch it, <laughs> you make more money. <laughs> yes, yes, that's exactly how that works. Yeah, it was fucking like. But he said it to every one of them. I know, but every I'm, I'm sing- telling you, he was explaining it for the older people at home that don't understand these things. And Kim Kardashian couldn't have broke it down any more for him. And he just couldn't get his fucking head around. <laughs> He's like, so you don't sing, you don't dance. He's like, no, I just like, it's a lifestyle. I'm a brand. Mm-hmm. And, and, and he, it's like, dude, you're literally interviewing her on, you're taking the fucking time to interview her. <laughs> she obviously has some sort of fucking clout. <laughs> I've never seen a guy so in the eye of the storm and he's out there with like sunglasses on like... Looking for the sun. <laughs> it's windy out, and a tree could hit me in the head. Like he just couldn't get his fucking head around it. It was driving me up the fucking wall. Driving me up the wall, and then also, like, people acting like these little things were these high-concept fucking bits. They're not. They're quick little fucking things. Like that dude going, I, I can do the whole Batman, Superman, what if in four seconds. Yeah, of course, yeah. Everybody said that. Yeah, Superman would just fuck him up. That was it. And then the old guy was going like, so like that's, that's what you think would happen? (laughs) Sorry. And when you were watching your reality show, I tapped out when that girl finally just goes, for me, (laughs) after she'd just been talking about herself. And then she's going to talk about herself, talking about herself. I had no idea my mom was that frustrated that it affected her that way. And I just feel like for For me, me, (laughs) I know I really do hate that. Just for me, I just feel like (laughs) for me, I just feel like is not a great way to start a sentence. You should just say, I think I feel for all of that. All of that reality show speak that you watch, Mm -hmm. you know. And that made me feel a certain kind of way. Some type of way. It made me feel some type of way. <laughs> it's always so fucking vague, but some type of way never means happy. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why can't you just say it fucking pissed you off? Maybe because this is know. a nicer I, way to say it. Right. Maybe because you don't want to get into your specific emotions. So you're like, it just had me feeling some type of way. Oh, no, no, no. There is not one woman on any of those shows that does not want to get into how they're feeling emotionally. <laughs> that is what the entire fucking show is. I don't know. I think it's just the way young people are speaking now. They don't say that made me frustrated or I was really 
angry. No, that was like a that was like a. You just say I'm in my feelings. You say no, I'm really in my feelings. This she was really in her feelings about it, or I feel some type of way. That's what people say now instead of saying. Well, those those real housewives were talking like that, and they're like they got like twenty year old kids. Well, because they're trying to be. I don't know. You know what I'm being right now? I'm being the old guy in 60 minutes. I just yeah, can't right. get can't my head around, around it. why so anybody. You say, I feel some type of way instead of saying I'm upset. So, no matter how great their lives are, they're always going to yell at each other and pull each other's hair. I'm doing that. Yes, Bill. That's what the <laughs> fucking show is. And you enjoy this? Yes, Bill. That's why I watch it. <laughs> All right. Hey, hey, Nia, you know what? Fair enough. Mm-hmm. Fair enough. You feel some type of way about all this, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That guy in 60 Minutes. It was like, I, I swear to God. Imagine I wanted to eat the glass I was drinking out of. Imagine explaining to your dad that whole concept. Listen. That's what that man was doing. Yeah, and my dad would get it. Your dad would be like, yeah, 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 sure, sure, sure. <laughs> Yeah, he wouldn't listen. Uh, yeah, what'd you say? Okay. <laughs> Christ, Bill, I'm tired. Okay, I, I don't need to hear this shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I shouldn't tell this story, but I'm going to. Um, what story? I can't tell it. I can't tell it because there's, there's, there's too many people I have to fucking protect. It's too All personal. I can tell you is that the authority figure called the house. Mm-hmm. And said, ah, oh, shit. <laughs> he said, listen, I can't prove it, but I know your son did some, you know, X, Y, and Z. Oh, right. And then my dad goes, what do you mean? He goes, what do you mean you can't prove it, but you know he did it? And he goes, oh, Christ, I don't have time for this shit. And he hung up on him. <laughs> <laughs> he was the exact opposite of I'm going to get involved <laughs> with this shit. Like I really love that response. 